There's a current ongoing debate about Cobblemon versus Pixelmon. And to be fair, I don't have a straight answer. I have a guess, and my answer to that's gonna be at the end. But I'm going to be going through some of the mechanics and some of the ways in just a base explanation of Cobblemon, sort of like a quick introduction to Cobblemon. So, once you load in, you get to press M, choosing your Pokemon. Kanto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova, Kalos, Alola, and Galar. Just to pick a random one, I'll pick Snivy. Something that's immediately different to know is that compared to Pixelmon, or compared to Pokehon, which is Pokehon's my personal favorite right now, the Pokemon are more pixelated. They feel like they fit the vanilla standard of Minecraft fold on fold better. But at the same time, they have custom animations, including this little bird right here which I think make it stand out. Another key point is throwing at your Pokemon. To me, that just looks cool. There's more detailed breathing and more detailed individual animation on each Pokemon, but they're less detailed. You have to pick your trade-off and everyone's gonna feel a little bit different. Let's try to battle. So, you press R to battle anything, and now I can move around, get a nice camera angle, and press R to continue the battle. Fight, switch, catch, run. I'm gonna do fight, and I'm gonna do fine with, just to see. Now, there is something I have to admit. There is no fighting animations, which is sort of a down tier for me, but this is also in earlier stages. You kill something, it drops loot, you get your experience in the bottom right. It's the basic deal. At the moment, from what I can tell, there's no special structures, but there's a massive variety of Cobblemon all around. Also, the minimap's a nice touch. All right, there's, there's an absolute ton of items around here. So obviously I have them all set out, but let's go over them one by one. The apricots and apricot seeds will spawn like this. This is what a fully grown tree looks like. Well, not fully grown, right here. Boom, red apricorn. And then this is what one of the seeds look like. There's not much I can say about that. That's how you craft pokeballs and all of the sorts of pokeballs like this. Crafting recipes are all different, but there's a lot. All right, let's get onto the appliances. This is the PC. The sound effects are actually incredible, and this is 10 times better than any other Pokemon mod out there. When you right click, it's really simple, no music, just a simple animation, and your party's healed. You might be wondering why I have some default looking Minecraft stuff here. These are all apricorn objects. It's basically, it's basically a darker shade of oak with some cool looking Pokeball patterns on them. Speaking of Pokeballs, yeah, there's a lot. I'm not going to name all of them off, or name all of the crafting recipes, but for the names, you can pause, I'm just going to skirt through them real quick. There's not much I can go over the- there's not much I can go over here, but there's a ton of different balls, ranging from the default original, to sun and moon master balls, and even some that I've never heard of, cherish ball. That's kind of cute. Oh, look at that, it flew away. Items here range from literal, well, obvious, rare candy, different versions of XP, calciums, proteins, and boosts, and then we get up to the special items. The assault vests, the belts, the hard hats, which all boost attack, leftovers, which obviously gives you a tiny bit of health, stardust, can be sold, mystical, boosting water moves, and even stuff I've never heard of, such as never melt ice. I don't even know what this does. That covers the items, but there's a whole lot more to this mod. If you press M, you get all of the details on your Pokemon, the abilities, nature, type, species, dex number, all of the moves, and the stats currently where you sit on top of your party. If you press L, you get to take a look at all of the advancements, including shiny Pokemon, PC, crafting one of every Pokeball, which is, that's, I got that when I put all of these down, and stuff like that. That's not all though. If you press J, it opens a map, which lets you just mess with some settings. I'm just gonna flip through them really quickly, showing caves, showing cave layers, animals, pets, villagers, grids, literally everything. You can also zoom, follow yourself, all of the sorts. There's also waypoints, you can change your UI theme, and everybody loves a little bit of customization. You can save your map, and you can map explored regions, everything like that. But you can set a waypoint by pressing B, and you can manage them by pressing N. Well, it's time for my final review. What do I think fully about this mod? Honestly, it's great. Now, is it on the level of the other Pixelmons that we've seen? Definitely not, but that's expected. Remember that Pixelmon and Pokemon had years and years of a head start. So it should be no surprise that right now they're a little bit behind. There's definitely some categories 
that this mod excels in. And if they taper up the battle mechanics, animations, and add some custom buildings, this mod has a definite chance to overcome Pixelmon and Pokemon. I know that sounds weird, but you get what I mean. How could you see this and not say that's cool? It's like a dream come true, especially for people that grew up watching Pokemon. Well, there's not much else to say. I'll leave the link to Kabumon down below, and I'll answer any questions anybody has, but that's my honest review. It's not as good yet, but it's making extreme strides. Yeah, so post-editing, I realized that I forgot a complete part of the mod, the evolution items. So just if you're looking for the items, in the description below, I'm going to have all of the Pokeballs, evolution items, medicine, and held items named, just because I forgot to go over the evolution items. So my bad. All right, that's all I got for y'all. Peace.